Welcome to the PROC Univariate tutorial. In this tutorial you'll learn how to use the basics of PROC Univariate and understand some of the output. PROC Univariate is a very useful procedure and throughout most classes that you would take where you do statistical analysis, PROC Univariate is one of the most widely used and most easily accessible SAS procedures. So the first thing I'm going to do is start by typing proc univariate. Now with any procedure you always have to tell it what data set to look at. So I'm going to go over here and look through my explorer to see what data sets I have and in the work directory I have one called crisp so I'm going to use that one. SAS is not case sensitive. So what I like to do when I write my scripts, and this is a good tip for other people, is to capitalize anything that you don't need to change between runs. For example, if I want to have a different data set, all I need to do is change the lower case crisp to my new data set, and everything else stays the same. So I'm going to use that as a convention. So the variable I'm going to look at is VAR. I capitalize it because it will always be the same. The variable in that data set is called crispness that I'm interested in. Then I simply type run. Notice that I always have a semicolon at the end of every single line. This is very important in that if you don't have it, SAS will essentially blow up, yell at you, tell you that something is wrong. So you must have those semicolons at the end of every single line. All right, now that I've typed this in, let's see what sort of output we get. Okay, Immediately, we see that the output window has been popped up, and the end of the output is shown. Okay, so it says the SAS system gives you a time when the procedure was run, which procedure you used, which variable you used, I used crispness, tells me how many observations there were. In this data set, there were 45 observations. Its mean is 37.77. Standard deviation of 2.087. Gives me skewness statistics, corrected sum of, so, sum of squares, coefficient of variation. Gives me some weights if I were to have a weighted mean. Uh, they add up to 45. Some of the observations, if I were just to add up the data before dividing by 45, gives me a variance, kurtosis, corrected sums of squares, and standard error of the mean. And again, in addition to this, it repeats the mean down here, gives me the median. Uh, this data set doesn't have a mode, so it leaves a dot there because it doesn't have one to provide. The standard deviation, the variance is there again, gives me the range and the interquartile range. It does give you a statistic down here or a test for a hypothesis that your variable is equal to zero. For most people, this is completely useless. So I tell people just to ignore this part of the output. It gives you quantiles. The maximum, the median again, gives you the minimum value gives you the first quartile at Q1 and the third quartile at Q3. It also provides what it calls extreme observations. Are they really extreme? No, they're just the ones on the end. It gives you the highest five values and the lowest five values. So it gives you some idea of what your data looks like. This is what this is supposed to do. It's supposed to simply describe your data. One other thing that you can do with PROC univariate is generate a histogram. So if we go back to the editor window, add a line after VAR and type in the word histogram. Put a semicolon. And if we run this, we'll get the same output again. But in addition to that, we'll get a histogram. And the histogram is very useful for telling us the shape of our data. How is our data distributed? Is it all close to the mean? Is it far away from the mean? How spread out is it? What shape does the data have? So keep that in mind. Many times you'll want to generate histograms. So 
this is a way to do that. Now, I'm going to close this window. We could go back to the editor window and notice that using my convention of always typing lowercase on the things that I want to change, that will make it easy for me to change my script later. Well, this has been the introduction to Proc Univariate.